In Alachua County, the phrase where nature and culture meet is more than just a clever tourism slogan. It's also the truth. A great example is the Alexander Cook Bowen Memorial Children's Garden, which is located at the Kanapaha Botanical Gardens. The garden is a tribute to the joy and imagination of childhood. This project is made possible through the donations of private citizens, local businesses, the Kanapaha Botanical Gardens, the Tourist Development Council, and the Alachua County Commission. Funding for the garden comes from the bed tax on visitors to the county and not from the county's general fund and your tax dollars. This is a place of wonderment. The Alexander Cook Bowen Children's Garden was inspired by the tragic death of two-year-old Alexander Cook Bowen. When Alex passed, the opportunity arose for Alex's father, James Bowen, to create a memorial garden inside the Kanapaha Botanical Gardens, which would allow other children to experience what he could not. Well, basically, the, uh, the children's garden, which is going to be a, a fairly major garden here and will be number 15 once we actually get it open, uh, started as a... Uh, uh, as the, an endeavor of uh, James Bowen, uh, and the, uh, the inception of the gardens was uh, a tragedy. He, he lost his son in a uh, uh, drowning accident, and so decided to do this as a memorial to his son, and also, of course, to provide the type of garden that would be of interest to children in general. The garden is being built in phases, with each section dedicated to different sensory activities for the children to experience. One of the nearly completed sections is the hedge maze. Uh, behind me you can see that the kids are having fun in the first thing that we built. It's, the, uh, it's two petals of the flower. The overall design of the garden is an open flower and the petals, each one makes a maze. Well these two petals together form the uh, hedge maze and you can see that we've, we made it early because it was at the northern end and we come in through the south with all materials and we pumped the concrete out there, poured the, uh, the maze sidewalks and uh, they lead you to a lot of dead ends, but uh, what you end up in eventually is a thing called the treasure troves. And at the treasure troves, you get to experience some of the natural artifacts of the area. You get the arrowheads, you get the shark's teeth, and, uh, you know, different shells, pottery, things like that. And the garden is designed to be interactive to allow the children to get in touch with nature and to learn to use all of their senses. Well, some of the nicest features that I think the kids are going to be interested in is the fact that all the features involve more than one sense. Instead of just using their eyes, which kids are used to doing because they watch too much TV, they, they're exposed with their ears and their hands and, and what they can smell. And so everything is for touching and, and there are no rules out here. You can jump over the wall and get to the next section. Um, it's a very kid friendly, let's explore, let's build this garden to be each individual kid's own exploration. Each part of the garden has its own special touches to provide each child with his or her own unique experience. This leaf is the texture maze, uh, which is uh, a, it's a maze where this one wall becomes a scavenger hunt, okay? There's all kinds of nice mosaics to find, and, uh, and the big prizes are the big diamonds, okay? And the key to these big diamonds are there are hollow spots in the floor where the floor gives a little bit. And if you feel the floor give, if you're blindfolded and you're walking along and you feel a little bit of give in the floor, you know that you're by one of the big diamonds. Um, the entrance is announced by an invisible waterfall. Uh, it's planted, there's some fragrant plants here. Uh, it's also one of the beginning mazes, the beginning to the whole garden. So we have Alex's tree here, the Japanese maple that was planted for him when uh, six years ago when he passed away. And uh, it's labeled as Alex's tree. We've got uh, a rose which uh, was grown from seed by Val Oppenheim, which is here, and it's Alex's rose. Um, you know, it's just a fun spot for kids. The garden would not have been possible without the help from some key funding. Tourist development tax, a tax that's paid by visitors and not residents, has built this children's garden that we're about to look at today. I, I think you'll see a fine example of what tourist development has done for the community, what uh, visitors have paid for, and this is going to be something that both citizens and visitors can enjoy.
The children's garden still has a ways to go. There are plans to build a dynamic water garden and a fragrance maze, as well as many other special features designed to spark a child's imagination and to help them learn from the world around them. We're very hopeful about the funding. We've got a great committee now that's in charge of, uh, we've already planned our first event. We're going to have some fun things coming up. If the funding keeps going like it is, we will be, uh, we should be finished by the end of summer of 08, okay? But it could go to summer of 09 or, or somewhere in between, you know, but I, I don't think it'll go any longer than that. Once the garden is completed, it will provide a wonderful adventure for the entire family. I hope that the kids, when they come here, besides feeling like they had a blast, okay, and that the botanical gardens are a great place to come to, I hope they use their sense of touch, their sense of smell. I hope they grab their mommy and say, do you smell that mom? And, and you know, and use their other senses more um, as in the forefront instead of relying on, on the eyesight so much. To donate money or supplies, please email James Bowen at james at fantasticgardens.com or call 352-372-4989. To find out more information about the Alexander Cook Bowen Children's Garden, please visit them on the web at fantasticgardens.com. For County Update, I'm Shelley Samick.